so this is the final video, it's video three in the playlist on quick tests finding the missing angle and you'll be able to download that from the link which is below in the description. Uh, this particular question is relatively straightforward but you need to know a couple of things. The first thing is is that we're dealing with a regular hexagon. Well the thing about a regular hexagon or any regular shape is that the external angles add up to 360 degrees. So the external angles of a regular hexagon are going to be 360 divided by the number of sides which is 6 so therefore it's telling me that 60 degrees is this value here which is along here and that's 60 degrees. Well that's kind of useful because it allows me then to work out the internal angle and the internal angle is just simply that this is a straight line and therefore it's 180 degrees. Take 60 away from it so the internal angle of the regular hexagon is 120 degrees and that goes for all of the six corners they're all 120 degrees. Okay so that's the first little bit. Uh, the next little bit is that um, the angle here of a square, well because it's a square it means that each of the four sides has a right angle in it. Okay, so this one here is a right angle and that's actually 90 degrees. Okay, so those are the two things that you need to know for uh, the internal angles, both of the regular hexagon and also the square. The final thing is that um, angle at a point, in other words, this point here, totals 360 degrees. It's the same number of degrees in a circle. So what it means then is that if we add... Um, 120 plus 90 we actually get 210 degrees so to find out this value of A it's going to be equal to 360 minus 210 degrees which is the sum total of the 120 plus 90 and that will give me then the value of A as 150 degrees so this angle is 150 degrees and that will answer the question I hope that's okay for you it's a fairly straightforward video please do add a comment below have a look at the uh, quick tests for yourself and you can go through on the link below and there are some other playlists on this particular channel that will give you some other practice for GCSE as well. I look forward to seeing you inside the next videos.